Hi all, if I haven't had a chance to meet you yet, my name is Jessica and I am the Children's Ministry Director here at Mayfield. I'm here to bring you a word of devotion today. No doubt that 2020 has been a year of both change and challenge. However, as Christians, we know that there is good in every situation, even in the turbulent events that this year has dealt us. Many of us have made time to do things that we didn't have time to do before. Maybe you were doing home renovations. Maybe it was being intentional with your time. Maybe you got outside more. Maybe you spent more time with your family or checked in on friends that you wouldn't normally have time to do so. And maybe pursuing hobbies, both new and old. I know for me that that was um, something fun that I was able to do. One hobby that I truly enjoy uh, but usually don't have time to do is photography. I was able to dabble in photography a little bit more this year, of course before Baby Bo came along. And in the midst of research, I started following these three impactful Christian photographers on social media. Their words and their blogs touched my heart, and they have deeply inspired me and my outlook on life. Their names are Kristen, Lindsay, and Caitlin. All are photographers, wives, and mothers, and all three have experienced deep pain over the past years prior to 2020. For these women, 2020 has actually brought a sense of hope and healing. Let me share a little bit about each one of them. Lindsay is a mother of two, a 10-year-old girl and a 4-year-old boy, and is a wife to Dugan, a pastor. Their daughter, Ava, was in a terrible golf cart accident in 2019, causing her to have severe brain damage and no use of her arms and legs. While her accident was severe, they have seen their beautiful daughter progress and she is starting to be able to move. This isn't how they imagine the life of their able-bodied daughter to look like because of a fluke accident. Healing is coming, but Lindsay and Dugan have had to put their trust completely in the Lord. Kristen is a mother of a boy and a girl as well, and the wife to a, a musician named Cal. Cal had an aggressive form of cancer. He underwent a bone marrow transplant and saw the face of death many times in 2019. This year has brought hope and healing to their family. Their story reached thousands of people on their photography and their music platforms, and they brought people to their knees in prayer. They couldn't see the light in that moment. They couldn't see God's goodness, but they followed him anyway. Come 2020, Cal is now in remission. And then there's Caitlin. Caitlin is a mom to two babies on earth, one in heaven and one on the way. Caitlin is a wife to Michael. They had their beautiful baby girl named Evie and then found out with their second one, baby James, that he would not make it earth side. He had complications that was found at his 20 week ultrasound and they still decided to carry him until he was born. While his life could have ended then, his parents chose for his life while short to carry him for as long as possible. Baby James had and still has an impact on thousands of lives. What a testimony of faith and trust. I think about her often and the decisions that they had to make. They knew that there would be purpose for James's life, but they didn't see it at the moment. All three of these women are women of faith, wives, mothers, and photographers who have experienced both pain and deep trust in our Lord. Caitlin shares a lot about Advent, and I wanted to share what she had to say yesterday that hit home for me, and maybe it will for you. She said, nothing that God has done has been how the world would have assumed it to be done. A king wouldn't step foot in a stable. A young married girl wouldn't be the world's first choice to carry the Son of God. Humans never could have guessed that God was making a way to be near to us and bridge the gap between his holiness and our imperfections in this way. But isn't God famous for taking expectations and flipping them upside down? I know he is for my life. He takes stories we think are nothing but awful and shows us there is more that we can't see yet. If God can change the world by a teenage girl giving birth to a baby in a barn, I think that he is big enough for us to trust that 2020 and all of its imperfections are not purposeless. He has never stopped doing things in a way that we won't initially understand. And I'm going to read that again because this was the part that just um, really caught my attention. She says, He has never stopped doing things in a way that we won't initially understand. 
Isn't that true? In fact, it seems to be his pattern. We're in a season where we are being called to something that is completely unknown. We don't have all of the pieces perfectly laid out before us, but I'm sure that that's how people in the Christmas story felt. Follow a star? Wait, the king is a baby? This is it? We traveled only to end up in a stable in the middle of nowhere town? And yet those people were part of the greatest story ever told. But I'm sure that it didn't feel that way at the moment. Some of the greatest things that God has done in our life requires trust. One of my favorite memories as a child on Christmas morning was reading the Christmas story. It really put the meaning of Christmas into perspective before opening up gifts that morning. It's not too early to read the Christmas story with your family, though. While you might be enjoying the at-home liturgies and the candle lightings each week during this season of Advent, I would additionally challenge you to read the story of Jesus' birth, whether it's by yourself, with your spouse, or as a family from Luke. Enjoy this beautiful Advent season, trusting our Lord and Savior, Jesus.